Hi and welcome to Amani Motivation. My name is Noeline Chirabo. I hope you are inspired, energized and excited about the new week. So today I want to start with a very simple question and the question is how hungry are you? Now when you talk about hunger, I don't know where your mind went to. Probably you thought about, oh, I missed breakfast or your next meal and probably checked your time to see if you're in time for your next meal. But I wasn't talking about a physical hunger. I'm talking about a hunger that is deeper than just a physical hunger. An insatiable desire to pursue and to keep pursuing until you achieve the very thing for which you are pursuing. When you talk about hunger, hunger is one of those things that drives people to extremes. It's one of those things that will drive people to do the most crazy thing. It's so easy to overlook many options, overlook alternatives when you're not hungry. But hunger is one of those things that will drive you to desperate. And again, it comes to the level of hunger. How hungry you are will determine the level of your pursuit. It will determine how far you are willing to go, how much you're willing to sacrifice for you to be able to satisfy that hunger. Now, I'm talking about the hunger and the desire for your dreams, for your vision, for your aspirations. And the question is, how hungry are you to achieve your goal, your dream, your aspiration, your vision, your mission? How hungry are you to become successful? It's one thing for you to desire. It's another thing for you to simply want and say, oh, I want this, oh, I wish, oh, I hope and pray this does happen. It's another thing to be so hungry that you stop at nothing until you satisfy that hunger. Now, the thing is that you need to bring yourself to that place. It doesn't happen automatically. You don't just wake up and you're so hungry for your dreams and you're going to pursue them. But one thing you will know about successful people is that they're hungry for the things they pursue. They're hungry for success. They're hungry for excellence. They're hungry for standing out and they will settle for nothing less. They'll keep pushing until they achieve it. I like to use the example of the beast, the, the, the king, the lion in the wilderness. Now, the thing about the wilderness is that the lion does not hunt unless it's hungry. And even when it's hunting, it doesn't go for everything. It doesn't hunt the squirrel, the mice, the rat, and the cockroach. It doesn't hunt for everything that crosses its path because it's so clear about the magnitude of its hunger. When it is pursuing, it is pursuing something that has the ability to satisfy their hunger. Now, your hunger is going to determine your level of pursuit, but also your hunger is going to determine the things you pursue in life. The thing about successful people is that they're not everywhere, doing everything, talking to everyone. They're not signing everything every deal. They are not part of every network. And yet for many of us, that's what we want to do. We feel like we need to be in every space at all times, doing everything. And that's how we prove our significance. But the thing is, if you are particular about the things you want to accomplish, you're going to have to be clear about your password. You're going to have to be clear about who you want to meet, who you want to connect with, and what exactly you want out of them. So I'll ask again, how hungry are you in regards to your goals, in regards to your mission, in regards to your vision, in regards to being successful because that is going to determine your level of pursuit. That is also going to determine the outcomes of your life. Like I said, the lion does not hunt for everything. It hunts for that which has the ability to satisfy its hunger. So the moment you're satisfied, you're going to stop pursuing. The other thing about pursuing is the fact that for many of us we've got into a habit of taking snacks. Now when you begin to feed your hunger on junk and all small kinds of things, you're going to stop pursuing. Now when you talk about junk, I'm not talking about the physical junk. In this case, in the pursuit of your dreams, when you begin to settle for short-term success, for short-term benefits instead of the big goal, you're going to come to a place where you do not have the drive and the tenacity to keep pushing for that thing that once was your life pursuit. So resist feeding your hunger on things that don't have the ability to satisfy you. If it is not what you're looking for, don't settle for it. Don't sign that deal. Don't go for it. Keep moving until you find the right target. And when you find the right target, keep pursuing until you get it. Because there's no point in pursuing if it doesn't have the ability to satisfy you. And there's no point in pursuing if you have no intention of going all the way. So never pursue until you're hungry, desperately hungry to actually achieve and actualize that thing. So how hungry you are is going to determine your pursuit in life and it's also going to determine the outcomes of your life. Champions don't run after small things. They run after their target and they keep at it until they win. My name is Noelle Nchirawa. Have a blessed day and a blessed week. And until next time, let's keep the conversations going online. Catch you next time.